Now I'm being told to jump right into this, so I shall. I was in my prayer time. Remember, this means husband mode. Husband mode. Husband mode, Mary. Good to hear from you. It always is. I'm always excited when I hear from my wife. And then I've already been praying for her. And we decided this is what needs to happen. She needs to eat. Your prodigal needs to eat. Their first step of obedience is going to be to eat. That is going to give them a burst of revelation, peace, and joy. And you already know how to eat. You'll have no problem feeding your spouse. Being omnipresent, making sure I'm in perfect timing here. And the first giant was marriage in this city. <clears throat> that was a long spiritual warfare draining experience. But so have the last two years been for my people. <clears throat> given we have been given plenty of confirmation and encouragement to believe this is true. Now, in the midst of being here, <clears throat> And I've witnessed every skirmish, every demonic attack, every misconception, every lie. Between being specific, Sheree Lynette Montoya and Michael Bryan Thomas, <clears throat> by her own vows, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Mary Magdalene. That is the level of truth that has been experienced year after year after year for the last three years based on one act of a culmination of years spent away from the truth. So I sent myself, so to speak, and I'm in husband mode and I've experienced this so no one's going to sway me from my truth this is not opinion there are over a thousand daily bread videos for my wife and many have benefited from our hardships and our experiences I have been my wife's protector her guardian her provider her comforter her conduit to hear directly from myself <clears throat> and for an easy way for you to understand it invisible where the heavenly truth resides I have revealed it to myself I have been married to this woman now, where the devil's lies came in, I think I will combat <clears throat> because I don't entertain a lie. I am the Lord. Who is to say what I have done? When we are viewing the situation as if I am here and I am, you have no reason to fear. Many will be seeing that previous video it just started raining. You can take that as evidence of this arc is worldwide and there are people in it. Are you in it? Because that's where I am right now for a specific reason. When we understand what others are going through what I already knew they were going to do versus what they said they would do this food that I am providing for them is for you if they do not eat they won't fully understand your love for them and I had conditioned and trained you to be able to stand, <clears throat> be their faith when they don't have any, B 
Be their spiritual strength when they need some. Be their understanding spouse towards their situation. Depending on how severe it actually is. My wife's condition has been severe. It has been taxing on both of us. But <clears throat> we remain still here for her and we always will be. That is something you should value in your spouse. Teaching you that long suffering and the difference is part of the purpose of the ark. This is not your portion. The scripture says, my people are my portion. the spirit led by the spirit that's how it has to be I know where that is Let's do it. Just confirming who I am for you. Return directly to this. I am the Rose of Sharon. So clarifying. If I do not have eyes of compassion, there is a reason. His eyes will be as flames of fire. You will wear many crowns, many diadems. There's a name written. Some scripture says on his thigh, the word of God, faithful and true. Others, that he himself only he himself knows or understands. Signifying a new name, so to speak, but part of the same. Fulfilling all of this scripture inside of a marriage has also been a giant that took years and years and years of preparation so your marriage coming together right now is a huge thing and a blessing for you i hope you take advantage of it and as i've seen you already have goliath had four brothers only one stone was needed this will be an event an occurrence in your life where only one stone will be needed teaching you my ways and why it was important to carry your cross, deny yourself daily. If you do not leave room for me to intervene my way, which means it's going to be out of the ordinary, it's going to happen exactly as I've already seen it happen. Removing that fear from you is going to be the first step. So my keen spouses had to know how to remove the fear from their prodigal. When I was discipling Peter, a lot of times it'd be, well, that worked out like that. I just looked at Peter, Peter looked at me, part of the walk. Yep, good job, Peter, part of the walk. This is an addition to your life. I made promises, you two will grow old together. You two have a special purpose in existence right now. You exist, so do I. 
We are all here. Reiterating, there was a war. Kingdom spouses, you technically fought the devil over your spouse. And yes, I was told one more slide. So remaining consistent and guarding your spouse from this takes my words. And I said, if you planted your seeds and they were my words, confirmation that we're returning Mary to my bride here. Seeds are going to grow. Now in my marriage, I have seen the inability for those seeds at that moment to flourish in my wife's heart. But that was because I needed to leave them with no choice. So you were both in a similar situation right now where what you were focused on and feared is not in the forefront of what I've been wanting you to focus on, which is each other. So this is a huge thing. When I look at the lying spirit, the counterfeit Holy Spirit, the spirit of the Antichrist, all of these that me and my people have been battling, the baffled king singing hallelujah, so to speak, <clears throat> Most of the warfare did not come in a way anybody uh, perceived or believed it ever could. Despite all of the evidence placed in your life and before you, the people that were supposed to assist you and be your brothers and sisters in Christ are the ones that did not believe you or attacked you or would not help you. When you delve deeper into why, <clears throat> for the aforementioned reasons, Revelation 16, 13, temporary alignment with the dragon. So, and this is Jesus himself speaking. There is no higher authority or truth than me. However, I decided to go about it. You must enter with the faith of a child. However, you are looking at it. <clears throat> I don't mince words and I don't lie. As king, that is a responsibility and as I've stated, as you are kings and queens, it's a heavy crown. You understanding that is also something that sets you apart. In your spouse's eyes is how I want you to be set apart as reliable. So there are many different aspects of the facets of mistrust and hurts that are in your marriage that you will have to prove that you either aren't that person anymore, aren't that person anymore, aren't that person anymore, or in my eyes, seeing everything, omnipresent, remember, that actually never was you. I put my finger right on the issue. I've been known to do that. <clears throat> Where you got your counsel from. Normally people not involved in the kingdom of heaven. I saw the infiltration of the enemy inside the church before 
the cross. When you value all of the things I have for you, such as your spouse, your life is going to change and so are you and you have someone that is going to stay with you until the end. Someone not only that wants to, is in love with you, Mary. What you prayed for, what I heard, what I said yes and amen to. And this is a godly union I brought together. Thanks, Dad. Of course, son. <clears throat> and I and the Father are one. You understanding all of the things I poured into you, your life would be infinitely worse if I had not stepped into your situation. I am in your situation. Otherwise, my house would not look... in my perfection, <clears throat> and I am perfect in all of my ways, having the worthiness and honor to have been the one to rescue you and love you and be your husband was not an easy thing. So my kingdom spouses need to see it the same exact way. Me getting my prophets involved in it and their situations, we are all feeding each other First of all, our light. If you watch one of my prophets, you're going to get a burst of hope, a burst of light. That is my spirit inside of them connecting to the spirit inside of you. Avoiding judgment is a good thing. It's what I've always wanted for you. Many of you have stored up judgment for yourselves. Many of you have stored up my wrath, not understanding these times, though the clear indication of my return is all across the earth in the news, etc. Taking into account what I have given you and blessed you with for my kingdom, for my namesake, and most of all for your happiness, you're understanding more and more why it's so important to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. <sighs> my counsel, my words, hold more value than you can comprehend. My action in your life, actually doing something, whereas I could, oh, they're fine. They did it themselves anyway. Me putting a stop to that and saying, no, I'm going to do this for you. Not just because I want all of the glory. It's because I made a promise to you. I want you to trust me so we grow closer. I love you.